In this video, we will solve a question on how to find the gross benefit from consuming a good given the demand function. The question is, suppose the demand curve is given by dp is equal to 10 minus p, where p is the price. What is the gross benefit from consuming 6 units of good? The options are 64, 42, 24 and 80. Okay. So basically what we are being given, we are being given the demand function. Let us say dp is q, that means quantity demanded is a function of price that is 10 minus p okay and also we are being told that q is equal to 6 that means 6 units are being consumed by the consumer we need to find out the gross benefit by gross benefit what exactly we are meant to find out it is actually the consumer surplus that is the gross benefit that the consumer gets okay how do we find it pretty simple first thing is what will we do we solve this uh, function for price so transposing p here so p is equal to 10 minus q okay then we graph it okay so let us graph it here so we have quantity on the horizontal axis price on the vertical axis okay how do we graph it simple thing first we let we let when when q is equal to 0 in this equation so when q is equal to 0 p is equal to 10 then okay so implies p is equal to 10 and when p is equal to 0 here when when p is equal to 0 which implies if p is equal to 0 again q will be equal to 10 so we got the vertical and horizontal intercept says 10 and 10 so this is our demand function 10 and 10 okay second step is uh, to find out the price corresponding to the quantity demanded of 6 units so when q is equal to 6 okay when q is equal to 6 in this equation or in this equation so what will be the price corresponding to this so p will be equal to 10 minus 6 which comes out to be 4 okay so we got price is equal to 4 so let us say it is here p is equal to 4 and corresponding to this quantity uh, you know demanded is 6 now we need to find out the consumer surplus consumer surplus is simply the difference uh, between the price that the consumer uh, is willing to pay and the price he actually is paying okay so it is the difference between these prices 10 and 4 okay and the consumer surplus is the area of this very right angle triangle so we can actually find out this uh, gross benefit okay so this actually is our gross benefit actually i have made number of videos on the consumer surplus you can check out those very videos fit okay and what we also call consumer surplus so consumer surplus or gross benefit let's write it here so gross benefit or consumer surplus will be equal to one half of area of this triangle right angle triangle let us say this point is a b c area of triangle a b c which is actually the right angle triangle and we know or let's write it in this fashion area of this right angle triangle abc and we know it is simply equal to one half of base what is base bc and bc is equal to zero to six and let's write it here bc into uh, ab okay which comes out to be one half of bc is uh, six uh, times ab is so this line is actually 10 minus 4 which is 6 so 2 ones are 2 threes are 6 3 six are 18 that means the gross benefit the consumer gets from consuming 6 units of good will be equal to 18 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you